I've been a competitive clay target shooter for 20 years. Been an artist for longer than that. One of my teachers said to me, well, you need to start telling your own story, so what is it going to be? And I kind of went, oh, hang on. I've been shooting for all these years. Why not combine the two loves? I have won shooting competitions. I have a few little ribbons, sashes, <laughs> which I'm very proud of. And just recently, I represented South East Queensland and we won gold for that for the ladies' team. To combine the two passions, I think at the moment I'm at the most calmest and the most content that I've ever been. I'm not trying to make a political statement. For me, this is me. As an artist, you don't want people just walking past your artwork. So I want them to either love it, hate it, I'm not fussed, but I want them to be able to engage with it and have some kind of feeling towards it. I just adore it. I love the concept of floating copper. I love the whole idea that she shot it with um, a gun. Something so violent and aggressive can result in something so beautiful. I love the experimental nature of it and the randomness of it and the fact that each piece is truly unique. For me to actually shoot the artwork, I can't do it in my backyard, so we go to the Brisbane Gun Club. I'll take whatever materials I need and what we call a pattern board, so it's a large sheet of metal and I put all my pieces up on there and then 15, 20 metres away I shoot the artwork. So <laughs> my first day turning up with artwork and my shotgun, let's just say there was quite a few little weird looks. I knew she was already into art. The concept of it was a little bit different, but I thought, why not? I haven't been able to find anyone else that uses a shotgun for art. Over the last couple of years, I've been sort of experimenting with different materials. So paper, canvas, laminated glass, perspex, copper and aluminium. So basically all those materials will vary depending on the shot. Paper is a lot more delicate and fragile. Then you've got the copper that's a lot more pliable, so the pellets will actually pass through that. And laminated glass, as soon as you shoot that, the pellets actually get embedded into the laminated glass. I think it's actually pretty cool and creative. Like, I probably wouldn't have thought of shooting at bits of metal and all that. I thought it was pretty cool. A bit interesting, creative. My family and my boys, you know, it's nice just to be able to maybe show them that if there's something that you really want to do, that you've got to, you know, you, you, you back yourself and you do it.